welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video it's the season hello fall how cute is this candle sand and fog from home sense i actually recently did a big home sense haul where i got all this new linen bedding and this cozy throw which is amazing so if you haven't already make sure you go light your candles grab your cozy throw make yourself a pumpkin spice latte i've actually just had one from starbucks and it's the first time i've had an iced one and let me tell you it is it's a game changer i absolutely love it so if you haven't already like i said make sure you get cozy grab the snacks light the candles of which i'm struggling with this one because this is running out i feel like i just need fairy lights and then my autumn little setup would be complete i have been shopping at the pumpkins and i'm gonna decorate the house and do an autumn home tour if you guys want that let me know if you do right so i'm very excited to bring you this haul today it is of course a zara haul like i said it's one of my favorite brands to shop i really feel like they nail it when it comes to autumn winter fashion so i was so excited to shop the new in section my intention is not to keep it all but as Zara always does, it ends up arriving and then I end up loving it all. But I am going to be quite strict with myself and decide what I want to keep and send back. So what I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments down below at the end of this video, once you have seen everything, let me know which are your favourites and which you think I should keep. So before I jump into this haul, make sure you have subscribed. If you're a fan of the Zara hauls, give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload one. And I will also leave my Instagram and Instagram home accounts down below if you you want to head over and follow me on there. So the first item that I got, I was so excited to receive. I received it in the post. It did come from Spain, I believe. So it took a little bit longer than the rest of the things that I ordered online. That is because they are part of the edited range. This is the label for the edited range at Zara. It's also part of the Joy in Life, which means it is made from 100% ecologically grown cotton. Thumbs up, Zara. I picked these up in a size 10 at $25.99. The edited, essentially, means you can personalise it. So I have chosen the sand colour denim with cream stitching. So it's very subtle and I've just put my name on the back. You can also choose where to place the stitching. You can choose what word you want. And the only really downside to ordering something like this is that it is non-returnable because it's personalised, and not only that, you then really can't sell them on if you choose to put your name on it. So it's a bit of a risk. I ordered mine in a size 10, so I feel like we should just go ahead and try these on and give you my feedback on how they feel once on. So let's try it on. So these are the jeans from the edited range. Absolutely love the colour, love the edited part, the actual Freya on the back pocket there if you can see little ill-fitting i'm not gonna lie for a size 10 they are a little bit too big around my waist and they're quite snug to fit as in to get into so they're not the most comfy i feel like they might give with a bit of time i just need to wear them in a little bit do a couple of shimmies um but i do feel like these sort of jeans are the ones that will give over time so i just need to give it time and just wear them and I can always belt the waist part it's not stupidly big I've had jeans which are a lot bigger than this around the waist so they're not too bad I can definitely belt them and get away with it but yeah this is the actual jean let me just show you the straight hem at the bottom um I like this style I like this design also, I just wanted to add that anything that I do end up returning, I will take into store. And I'm filming a bit of a day in the life style vlog for Sunday's video. So stay tuned for that if you want to see some more new in in store vlog style footage of Zara. Stay tuned for that for Sunday. But yeah, this is the first item. Let's get on to the next. The next item that I picked up is a little funky, a little different. It's a, is that a leopard print? Is it a leopard print? It's kind of like cow print colour, but leopard print design. I love the fact that it's just cream and black, nice and simple, not too much multi-tonal in terms of the print and pattern. It's just simple and it 
is in a medium, $29.99, pretty good price. It's nice and floaty, it's one of those smock styles that just is so comfy and loose and floaty. And my intention with this is maybe to style it with a cozy knit jumper on top as like an extra layer of warmth and maybe wear it with boots. So let's try it on and see what I think. Any flash or am I good? <laughs> I wasn't sure I'd like this one, but you know what? I absolutely love it. I love the fit of it more than anything. Uh, I love the fact that it's so comfy. And I have recently purchased a couple more of these longer sleeved, slouchy kind of smock style dress, which just allows a massive food baby. So if comfort is key for you, then this kind of dress is perfect. It's a great transitional piece as well, because if you do want to pair it with tights, boots, leather jacket. I think it's a cute little outfit. Very breezy, so I feel like if there's a big gust of wind, you might just need to hold yourself in place. I think it's a really nice leopard print. It's not too Pat Butcher. Is it Pat Butcher? Is that right? I don't watch EastEnders, but you know who I'm talking about. Cute little dress. The next item that I picked up is this corduroy jacket. I love corduroy jackets. It's kind of an in-between a shirt and a jacket. One would say a jacket. I'm thinking of wearing this done up with leather pants. I have some from Zara which I bought last year. Can't wait to get those out again and start wearing them. I got this shirt in a medium. It was $29.99 which I think is pretty reasonable for a, a lightweight jacket or a heavier shirt as a nice layering piece and this corduroy fabric is perfect for autumn so let's try it on oh it's got pockets down here as well actually and a raw hem i love this i really really like this so let's try it on and see what it looks like so this is the next item this is just the typical blogger style over the shoulder but if i actually put it on i love this i feel like i'm gonna wear this in manchester and if I've already shot it and worn it, I'll leave a little insert of what it looks like on. And I like the fact that it's longer, so that if I want to wear this casually done up with just leggings, then I definitely can. Love it. If you wanted to know where this top is that I'm wearing underneath, it's from Princess Polly. One would say that out of the two of these items, I probably don't need to keep both. However, they are different. This is another jacket i'd say it's more so of a jacket this one it is a denim in this rich creamy color a really nice length to just pair with like high-waisted jeans and a basic tee or even a little dress like that um cow leopard print one that i showed you earlier small and it's 29.99 and it's also part of the join life again so it's produced using less water Bit of a double denim situation with this jacket. I love the ecru creamy kind of colour to this. And I actually really like the fit of it. I like the fact that it's a little bit more boxy, cropped, and there's no real like sort of structure to it. I love that. Oh, I love it. The next item is that stereotypical autumn piece. It is, of course, a cosy knit jumper. Again, in this cream colour, which is just going to be so versatile, easy to style, and you guys know that I'm a fan of the neutrals, in particular, cream. And you can definitely wear cream and whites throughout autumn, winter as well. I do, and they're not the most practical of colours, but I love them, so hey-ho. In a small, at $29.99, I feel like it could be a, a staple, so let's just try it on, shall we, and see what we think. Oh my god, coziness. Level 100. So, this is the cozy knit jumper. How I imagined it with this little smock style dress underneath. Um, I kind of thought I'd have maybe a bit of a collar out as well at the same time, but it is very high necked, which isn't bad, but I don't know if it looks alright like this. I think it does, I think it works. I mean, I've never worn an outfit like this, but... Pinterest has inspired me and if it's really cold maybe a leather jacket and tights Okay, so with this jumper as much as I love it and I do think I'm gonna keep it I do think I'll get wear out of it However, I will only wear it with longer sleeve things like this dress or maybe a long sleeve top when it's winter as a layering piece Because it's a little bit scratchy against the skin if I were to just wear short sleeves or you know, just wear this with just a bra underneath. I think it'd be too scratchy for that. 
and a bit too itchy. I do have particularly sensitive skin though, so if you know what I mean by that itchy kind of jumper, then you'll know exactly what I mean. I'm actually feeling this outfit, I quite like it. Next up, I've got a very simple, sort of streamlined suede jacket coat. The reason why I picked this up is because I thought it was so reasonable in price. So I got it in a small, it is $29.99 and it's a fairly weighty, good transitional piece. Nice and basic, which is a must for me. I love my basics. So let's try this on and see what we think in a small at $29.99. Did I say that already? I can't remember. Now that I've put this coat on with this outfit, I actually don't think I would style it like this. I don't, I don't know. I don't really, I'm a bit stuck on how to style this, to be completely honest with you. There's no pocket. Oh, there is pockets. I tell a lie. I uh, love the colour of it, love the price of it. I think it's really reasonable for what it is. The sleeves are snug, so I feel like I can't get away with a thick, cosy knit jumper underneath. This top here is quite thin on the sleeves and it feels not restricting, but snug. Next up, I got this coat. Yes, a coat. Oh. I know it's not that cold yet, but you know, all the good coats go really early, so I feel like I actually need to stock up with some more. This one in particular I picked up in a small at only $29.99, again a very reasonable price for a coat. Oatmeal or cereal, I think that that is what this colour is. What do you guys think of this colour? and fit and everything. I do like the pockets, I do quite like this design, I don't know if this tie is big enough to bow, is that going to look silly? Yeah, yeah a little bit. Let's see what it looks like open. I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose but I think I would remove this, if I can, is it attached? No. Remove that and I prefer it just slouchier and kind of more oversized, boxier fit. That's how I prefer to wear it. But I guess you've got the option if you want to cinch in the waist, you can. So guys, I got another corduroy jacket. <laughs> I feel like this one is definitely, I feel like this is a hybrid between the two of the others actually, because it is cream and it's more of a jacket shirt style thing in the corduroy fabric and yeah but it's the cream color of the denim jacket so it's a good hybrid between the two this is why i have a problem you see because for me all three jackets are very different but to the untrained eye i.e someone like tom he'd say that they're all identical and you definitely don't need all three this one again was 29.99 i picked it up in a medium love this cream kind of color it's a popper button design as well this one so you could wear it done up you could wear it open very versatile and a nice layering piece. I'm such a cream lover, aren't I? I'm definitely drawn to it. Okay, so this is the other jacket, shirt jacket. I love this colour and I even feel like this is quite a wintry colour. I can feel myself going to Christmas markets with this on. But of the three, I feel like because of the silver hardware, which is putting me off a little bit, this is the one that I most likely will return. Oh, I don't know. I do actually really like the cream over the beige though, or the white over the beige. Oh, I need your guys' help. If I could, if money were no object, I'd literally have all three. And I do think I'd get use out of all three, like wear out of them all. <sighs> help me out, guys. What do you think? Don't even think of tempting me for keeping all three. Okay, I picked up this, which said it was like a basic long sleeve t-shirt in off-white, and I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the colour. I got it in a medium, it's only $12.99, and as you can tell, it is a very basic long sleeve top. I love the quality of this, and the lightweight kind of feel, but thick enough to, you know, feel more substantial than just a thin cotton like Primark long sleeve top. So I do love the fabric of it. I guess the off-white comes from the fact that the inner lining is black. I might even return it and get it in a black actually. Just untuck the necklaces. So I've kept the sand coloured edited jeans on to show you this long sleeve top. Love the length of the sleeves. Again, that long sleeve, the coziness. I love a long sleeve. But I just wanted to keep the sand colour on to show you the difference in terms of it being warm versus cool. Which I don't mind now that it's on. Oh no, my necklace is coming down. That's dangerous. That could 
fly open anytime. So it's one of those tops that I feel like would be a great basic and one that I kind of want to get in more colours. So I am going to check online and see if they do more. You untuck it so you can see the length of it from the front and the back. Ta-da! Zara are great for their basics. I absolutely love them. This being one of them in a small at $15.99 kind of seems a bit steep for a basic. Let's try it on. So basic black tee. Uh, I actually don't know if I like the length of these sleeves. I just wish they were a little bit shorter. <sighs> what do I do? I think this is called the oversized tee or something like that, which the length of it is perfect. It's actually, if I lift my arms a little bit, you can see it's almost tapered slightly, 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 but it's the sleeves that I'm not sure on. I like the airiness of them, but I just wish they were, like, see they cut me on my elbow. I want them halfway between my elbow and my shoulder, like more like there. So I feel like when you find a good basic tee, I'm happy to buy multiple and in all colors. But this one I don't think is my perfect basic tee, unfortunately. It's gonna go back. Another cozy knit, how could I have a autumn winter haul without at least two cozy knits? This one is a little different to the other, it's a religious one, it is holy, hashtag dad joke. I love the little bobble design and the kind of cable knit design on the front. I picked this up in a medium at $25.99, let's try it on. This is the knit for me. I honestly feel like this is made for me. It reminds me a little bit of something I'd pick up from All Saints. That kind of vibe. Who remembers Wild Fox jumpers? Are they still around? I remember Wild Fox being one of those jumpers that have like holes in it and distressing, but being cool and trendy at the same time. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Just tucked in there loosely and slouch, slouchly, slouchy kind of fit, but tucked out. This is the length of it, actually from the back. Nice big sleeves. I quite like the fact that they are like baggy and long. Who else loves a really long sleeve that you can just get real cozy with? This is a two thumbs up from me. I'd give it more thumbs up if I had more thumbs. <laughs> and let me know if you give it a thumbs up too. These were like a secondary pair of jeans to my other pair which I ordered from the edited range. And they are definitely more of a cooler beigey tone as opposed to the warm sandy kind of colour. So they are definitely different. The style of them is also very different. I did pick them up in a size 10 again. These were $29.99. They're called the slouchy fit. They gather a little bit at the bottom and have a turned up hem. Just spin you around a little bit so I can stand a bit further back. Next to my autumnal candle. Love the colour of these. They feel so comfy because they have so much room. They are ever so slightly... Oh, that label's coming off. Not too big for me, but if you're in between sizes, size down go with your waist size. If you are slightly cinched in at the waist, I'd size down. Other than that, they're a pretty good pair of jeans. Fan, thumbs up. Whoop, whoop. The last two clothing items that I got before I move on to a pair of boots are these two dresses. They're similar in that they are a long sleeved midaxi length dress. And my intention with these are to wear them as they are now, maybe casual with just ankle boots, something like that with maybe a leather jacket, or layer up with a cosy knit jumper and it almost looks like a midi skirt rather than a dress. So this dress was in a small at $49.99. This particular snake print I feel has very autumnal shades. I just walked out the room and walked back in and let me tell you, this smells incredible. It's my new favourite autumn scent. If you can get your hands on that one in Home Sense TK Maxx, the one with the Hello Fall on the top in Autumn Harvest, $7.99, please do it. It smells incredible. Aside from that, this is what this dress looks like. This whole situation here is very new to me. I don't own anything like it, so I guess you could wear it open as I just was, or how it is, I guess, designed to be. A little bow detail here. Oh, I quite like it. I like that. It's got a front slit up the front so I guess front slit up the front so I guess as you're walking you might get okay you didn't get a pop of leg there let me try again you might get a pop of leg office attire maybe some black court heels it's quite a nice sophisticated smart dress and then the other dress that I picked up is in a black with 
almost a floral print. Let me just show you a bit closer up. I don't know if this style is me though. I, wanted, I want to love them, but I just feel like because they're not basic, basic, then they're just a little bit out of my comfort zone. But I do love this look and they're so comfy. This is in a small and again, it is 49.99. It's one of those dresses that is either very grandma or actually really cool and classy and chic and timeless. So I think the style is that. But the print is what's making me think, it's just making me doubt it a little bit. I do really like it, but I feel like other people might be like, who is that, I was gonna say 30 year old. <laughs> who is that 27 year old trying to look like a grandma? Hold on, I need to sneeze. <coughs> Always sneeze in twos. So yeah, this is the final dress very very comfortable so again if comfort is key for you this could be a nice office dress that you're going to be comfy in all day it's nice and long so it's appropriate and it's not too plunging here either so i overall i do think this is a thumbs up from me personally i love it but i do feel like it might be hit and miss tom could either for instance you know what boys opinions are always like they just never get trends or anything like that he's either gonna say yes very pretty or ew no send it back so i feel like sometimes it's quite nice to get a boy's opinion because then you get a truthful honest answer well i do anyway <laughs> okay so the last and final item again another staple for autumn winter is a pair of boots they come in this little zara duster bag thing and these are in a 40 aka uk7 if i'm gonna size up it's gonna be in boots because i can wear the primark cozy socks with these and kind of fill the shoe out with them if that makes sense so i am typically like a six to a six and a half so i sized up in these i have tried these on and they do fit really really nice and um, they do have that little bit of extra room so like i said i would need thick cozy socks with them but they were only 29.99 and i just think that is so reasonable for a good staple ankle boot with a bit of a chunky heel that i feel is going to just last me throughout autumn winter oh and little tip as well uh, which i mentioned in my last zara haul the zara shoes come with a little clasp here that you can unclip them so you can try them on with all the packaging still attached before sending them back if you decide they're not for you so that is the last and final autumnal piece which i feel like is a good piece to end on i hope you're all having a lovely day whatever you're doing and thank you so so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye guys it's the season hello fall this sanibog oh. i recently did oh so without further ado i'm gonna so without further ado i'm gonna start on the first i so before i jump into this haul let's do a check I could wear the roll the rolled sleeves the sleeves rolled up a bit girly a bit girly these this this one it's in a medium i got it in a medium <laughs> um i guess the off-white comes from the fact that the inner layering i guess the off-white comes <laughs> i was nearly down then let's just let that policeman go past or some kind of a siren Can you hear it? Let's have a water break, shall we? Oh, <laughs> blew a bubble out. And I like them. Oh, did I? <laughs> Felt a bit drunk then. <laughs> so yeah, this is the final dress. No. So this is the dress. Very autumnal. I'm very much in the autumn. I'm very much in the autumnal sort of convey what I'm trying to what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to like, oh god, forget that. 